Public transit is the lifeblood of a city. It determines who has access to which jobs, how a city's economy grows, and for an increasingly large number of people, it's their sense of freedom, where they can go and where they can't. And so it's for this reason that five of us from four different fellowship teams got together and started building tools for public transit so that it could be as successful as it needs to be. We started the only way we know how, uh, by talking to actual transit agencies and trying to understand their needs. And uh, one simple thing stood out to us. that They didn't have the tools they needed to do their job. Right here in San Francisco, this is how transit's planned, a giant Excel sheet. You can't see it here, but there's actually over 200 tabs in this Excel sheet. The colors show you who last edited each field, among other things. And notably, there's not a single public transit line actually shown here. Those are drawn on pieces of paper that they use in parallel to this. No one at the SFMTA likes this. It's hard for them to use. But for small to medium-sized cities, it's actually impossible. It's difficult enough that they don't change their transit lines for decades. And so we thought we could do better, and we started with this simple sketch that a transit planner drew for us. We turned it into something real, and I'd love to give you a quick demo of TransitMix. So uh, you can start in any city. I'm going to start in San Francisco. You can either just draw a brand new bus line or pull in existing ones. In this case, I'm going to pull in the six Parnassus. And what you can see where the bus goes, but on the right-hand side, you can see its schedule. And all that Excel sheet information is baked right in. All those numbers are there. And you can drill in and see the details that go into that. Uh, but what's cool is that all of this updates live. So as you make any change, the numbers update to reflect that. So in this case, I'm going to take the Parnassus to go down Haight Street, sort of where it always should have gone. Uh, you can see on the uh, right-hand side, a few changes happen. But I'm going to make it come every eight minutes or so. And it's going to cost about a million dollars more to run that line for this much more often. Uh, that's no good. That's over my budget. So what I'm going to do in this case is just shorten the line, get rid of the last few stops. And you can see I'm back under my budget, which is fantastic. Uh, I'm going to share this with someone at the SFMTA, so I'm just going to grab this link, send it over. They can open it up and see the exact same thing. And what they can do is make a copy of it, edit it, and add new transit lines on top of it, and together we can create a su successful transit system. Thank you. So we launched this about three months ago, and the response has been tremendous, uh, sort of far beyond what we expected. And what I want to share is just a quick video of what people have been doing with this. People have been using this uh, a lot. Transit planners, um, both armchair and professional, um, have created over 40,000 maps, but not only in the United States, in 3,600 cities across the world. <laughs> but really, these are, these are just numbers. What's most important is that transit planners are actually using transit mix to do their jobs. So this is a screenshot of New Orleans, and this was sent to us by Stefan Marks, who is the director of planning with the city of New Orleans. And he sent this to us to, to tell us that he's not only been using transit mix as a planning tool, but also as a presentation tool so that he can convince his board of directors that things need to change in New Orleans. We talked to him on the phone, and he told us that since the day that he could upload existing bus lines into Transit Mix, it was like a dream come true. This is Torrance, uh, Torrance, California, a city of about 145,000 people. <laughs> and it's not a big city. Um, it's small, small in fact that they have only one transit planner in the entire city, and his name is Bradley Tollison. 
So we talked to Bradley, and he told us that he's essentially abandoned his age-old method of drawing on his whiteboard in favor of transit mix because it's easier and it helps illustrate to his community and his city the really serious trade-offs that he needs to make every day between cost and service. This is a jeepney. So jeepneys are the most popular form of public transit in Manila. <laughs> and we've started to be able to visualize informal systems of transit in the Philippines, in Vietnam, and in some places, mapping them for the very first time. <laughs> So what we realized was that this super fun tool, which really was born as a hackathon project um, with a bunch of fellows back in January, has the bones of something bigger. Transit Mix dramatically lowers the barrier uh, to planning a good transit system. And we believe that this isn't just about drawing lines. We believe that a good transit system is fundamentally important to building livable cities. So we want to keep working on this. We're really excited to keep working on this after the fellowship. So if you or your city or your state or if someone you know uh, can help us grow and scale, we'd absolutely love to hear from you. So come by, draw some bus lines for your city, and together we can make transit as successful as it needs to be. Thank you. Thank you.